In the blue corner, 22 years, 84 kilos, 180 centimeters, four wins, two losses. Coming from Poland, Piotr Warzniak. In the red corner, 31 years, 84 kilos, 185 centimeters, seven wins, three losses from Slovenia. Bor Not really up. Rato. Not really, really up. Referee Grant Waterman. No, don't worry, you're totally We don't know it's three fives. Any questions for me on the rules? Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my words of command at all times. Keep the fight away from the ropes. If I tell you to stop, you stop. Touch gloves, get ready for the war. Light the blue touch paper and stand well back. This is gonna be an absolute dust up of massive proportions. Play war. Ratosh, the boar man, he comes here. A record eight fights with WFC, just back from Australia, where he finished his opponent. These guys are gonna not last more than one round, I would venture. If this goes to two, I would be surprised. Well, his opponent, Piotr Rashnik. Rashnik going for a takedown, look at the power. Body slams poor Bratos down, so the KO from Bratos, not apparent in the first stages of this bout, so it's going to be hard work for Slovenia's arguably number one MMA fighter. I may not even have the time to give you the numbers here. But Bratos, 31 years of age, 84 keys, 185 centimetres, a record of 7, 3 and 0. Oh. Pietor Rashnak, 22, 84 keys, 180 centimetres, with a record of 4 and 2. Rashnak throws caution to the wind as he tries to bring it on to Bratos. Bratos lands heavy hands, goes for the takedown. There come the hands now. This is what Bratos is known for. But it's been answered. What a tough character. Piotr Warashnyak has turned out to be. Bratos used to demolishing his opponent's early doors. Makes a stumble. That could be a mistake. There's the guillotine. Manages to find space, works his way out. <coughs> so Bratos escapes the guillotine, powers his man. Well, there's a shoulder throw, that came from nowhere. Rashnik got some judo in the background there. So, a real test here for Bor Bratos. There's the takedown, good spread from Bratos, but look at the power! That body slam came from nowhere. Piotr Rashnyak, real handful here for Bratos. What's he like on the ground? Work side control. Bratos looking for a triangle. Keeps that right arm locked in. And the skills of Bratos, absolutely improved. But there's a choke on there. Can Bratos ride this? Well, he just brutally slips out, not allowing Rashnik, even though he had a really decent lock on there in front of a home crowd here, wouldn't allow it to stay there. Well, full mount for Vrashnik. Tries the ground and pound. Well, what an absolute dust up this is going to be. Bratos manages to get to the upright. Trying to look for a single there. Tries another body throw, Vrashnak. Bratos pops in a little right hand. Now it's in the upright. Will Bratos be able to start to dominate? Was not used to going as long as this in his bout. Normally he takes his opponents down very quickly, but that could all change here tonight as the heavy hands go in. On the ropes. There's that hip throw. Yetov Rajak 
Very slick at coming in underneath. But some signs of wear and tear now. Ball goes for a single. Well, very well read by Piotr Vrashniak. Now, fitness is going to come into it here. We're under a minute, but both these fighters have expended a lot of energy. Big wake-up call for Bord Ratosh. So this is a big call for him. He's got the guillotine. Can he hold it? No, it's been slipped. Well, he's going to have to work hard to submit his opponent here tonight because Piotr Rasniak from Poland, a real, real handful. Starting to tire now, and maybe the sloppiness in the work will show. If Bratosz can keep it tight, if he can work away, keep everything good, land the shot, which he does. Big heavy hands, and that rocked the pole. Bratosz has got to keep focused. Well, at the bell, it got very ugly in there for Bord Bratos. Really didn't expect that level of competition from his opponent. But what a good matchup this has turned out to be. A fight record of four and two for Vrashniak. And he's put in a good, good, good effort here tonight. We've seen a sneaky little hip throw in. And that caught Bratos by surprise. But you can see the hands will finish this here tonight. I don't think we're going to see a technical submission. I'm surprised it's gone this far. Ratos likes to finish it early. Maybe that's what he'll do in the second, now that Piotr Vaurzniak has blown a bit of gas out in the first. So a good sporting shake of hands for the second, but it's going to get medieval in here. Ratos going to try and keep it upright. Try and slug it out. Big looping left hand for Vajniak. Matos looking to lay a good clean shot. So some creativity. The legs beginning to work here. down a pace as it would have to. Well, Bratos winning the war of hands, but there's that powerful takedown. Absolute power. As Rajnak comes round the back for a single, the rear naked choke not in play here. Ratos turtles up, but there's a rear mount. He's locked in, and this is submission territory for the pole. Ratos, will his ground game allow him to keep Rauschniak out? Rauschniak is hooked in. He's had to abort that, but with the full weight of the pole on his back, can Ratos do anything? meaningful to reverse the momentum here. Good work from the pole from on top, but nothing to worry Bratos too much. Covered up underneath and turtled up. Bratos goes for the ropes and comes up. Now he's turned the momentum. He's turned his man beautifully. Now Pietro Vazniak was going to find himself under a bit of pressure here. Bratos looking for the ground and pound. Pietro Rashniak. 
Rose is the guard, but it's Bratos from the top. And that advantage gone now as it comes to the upright. Over two minutes left in round two. In round two. The reset, my bad. Now, two minutes left. Has Bratos done enough to weaken his man for a technical submission? Will it ground and pound? Can Piotr Rauschniak reverse the momentum here and do something from underneath? Bratos takes a good right hand from underneath. Well, always a crowd pleaser, Bratos. from the bottom. Still Bratos can't work a margin here. Let's see where there's any slack. Being properly spoiled. Under a minute left. And this has been a real test for the play ball. giving as good as he gets from underneath. But this is where Playball now starts to bring pressure to bear and impose himself. As is so often the case, the clock against him. Countdown. 10 second clap up. Stomp kick. Bratos returns to his corner. Well, what a war of attrition this has turned out to be. Neither of these men thought they'd see the beginning of the third round. I have to say, as your sportscaster here, I didn't think that it would go past the first. The second was a surprise. attrition between these two. Cutsman working on the right eye of Piotr Rauzniak. What a tough, tough character the pole has turned out to be. That right eye is going to cause him a problem. It's almost closed. And what a wonderful gesture. These two warriors set to clash again, give each other a hug and a mark of respect. But the game has to be played and the game has not been played out. Round three of this matchup, pitching Piotr Wrozniak of Poland against Borbratos of Slovenia. They call him the play ball. an absolute demolisher and he's got his real work cut out here as he's taken to the ground with that massive body slam by the pole awesome power on tap are we seeing tired enough fighters for a submission to come guard closed Gratos pulls his man on. Big heavy hands going in from the side as Vrajniak tries to power up. Locked into that closed guard though. 
Good spread, good drive. Well, the leg goes up from Bratos. So from underneath, can he work some magic? Rajniak doesn't look tired enough. The partisan crowd here rooting for Bratos, but he really, really has got a tough job on his hands. Some cross face going on from Rauzniak. Rauzniak close to the upright. Will he risk going in? Kept at bay by the open guard. Tries to rush in. And Bratos comes back up to the upright. Bratos trying to come in from behind the left. Rauschniak tries to go for the takedown, not quick enough. And there's that hip throw. Classic judo. Under two minutes left. Well, almost checkmate. These fighters have negged each other out from the beginning. No one thought it would go this long. They're running out of ideas. And such is the level of matchmaking that these fighters just come in at the same level. There's the takedown. It should be read by Bratos and it is. Big right hand. Bratos. Probably shouldn't have led up there, should have kept the hands going. But he knocked the guard and the sweat off the face of Piotr Vrajniak. Gum shield returned by Grant Waterman. Well, what a fantastic competition this has turned out to be. Who's going to make the difference? I think this is probably even on judges' scorecards. Can someone bring something to bear here? And again, a massive flurry at the end from Piotr Rauzniak. The seconds count down. Bratos just happy to keep Rauschniak at bay, there's the 10 second clapper. And Rauschniak right to the wire. Well, it's going to go to a very, very tight pull on judges' scorecards. I don't know how they're going to find it. Very, very close. Always a crowd pleaser. Always very difficult to come and beat a champion like Ratosh on his home turf. But it was very close indeed. Well, tense moments here as we wait for the official verdict. Whatever it is, it's only going to be by a cigarette paper. It's going to go to the wire.
Fight number seven, WFC 18. Because of the unanimous decision, the winner is... Bor Bratos! Well, a unanimous decision for Bratos.